Do you know that the forestry sector is still dominated by men? And do you know what the consequences are? The forestry sector is based on men's norms, which creates barriers for women and people of other genders. And what are the consequences? Where well, women and people of other genders do not have equal opportunities in their work lives and in their careers, and they may experience inequalities and discrimination. They are not seen to be of equal value, and do their perspectives are not listened to. Universities teaching forestry rarely include topics such as gender equality, diversity and inclusion in their curricula. Students remain ill-equipped to understand and reflect on how gender inequalities and societal norms affect their studies, their future careers and work culture in general. Forestry professionals remain without the basic knowledge on those topics and are unable to cope with the gendered barriers they encounter. In our work in the International Forestry Students Association, IFSA, we have perceived gender inequalities across various countries and regions. Our fellow students described outdated practices and sentiments that still persist today. So we decided enough was enough. In 2022, we wrote and sent the IFSA Open Letter on Gender and Forest Education to universities and international organizations. In this open letter, we urged them to include more gender-aware and inclusive practices in forest education. In response to the IFSA Open Letter, we decided to develop this course for Gedi, and we, we are the Task Force on Gender Equality in Forestry within IUFRO, the International Union of Forest Research Organizations. We are a group of world-leading experts, practitioners and researchers on gender equality, diversity and inclusion in forestry and forest-related sectors. Our aim is to provide basic knowledge on gender aspects in forestry to everyone and to facilitate critical discussions on social norms. With 4 Giddy, we reduce the educational gap and make the latest research and initiatives accessible worldwide. Over the next three weeks, we will introduce you to the basic concepts of gender, equality and diversity. In the first week, you will get a solid foundation for understanding and critically reflecting on the issues related to these topics. In the second week, you will get the opportunity to explore gendered barriers through a portfolio of case studies from around the globe. Finally, in the third week, we will showcase the initiatives that work on the ground to improve the situation for the better. You will get equipped with tools, strategies and resources so you will be able to improve the situation in your own context, be it studies, work or everyday life. One of the first women to achieve PhD education was Dr. Elena Lucrezia Cornaro Piscopia. She earned her PhD degree in philosophy right here at the University in Padova in 1678. Now, in 2023, almost 400 years after that, it is the time for forestry and forest-related sectors to become diverse, equal and inclusive workspaces for all. On behalf of the contributors and the IUFRO Task Force on Gender Equality in Forestry, I am happy to welcome you to the course. The collaboration between the University of Padua and SLU Global made this course possible. We wish you a joyful and eye-opening learning experience. <laughs>